Hey guys, welcome to the Creative Arena. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this wonderful advanced elemental sticky header with the effect that hides header on scroll down and shows header on scroll up. So at the end of this tutorial, you're going to create a header that looks like this from scratch. And I'm going to walk you step by step. And then when you scroll down, you see the header has disappeared. You scroll back up, the header comes back up. You scroll down, the header disappears. You scroll back up, the header comes back up. And mind you, this feature is responsive on other devices and we can check that out here and see what it looks like on our laptop see the header disappears you scroll back up the header comes back up you scroll down the header disappears you scroll back up the header scroll comes up now you can check it out also on tablet you can see how header looks great you can scroll down here the header disappears scroll back up the header comes back up you scroll down, the header disappears. You scroll back up, the header comes back up. You can check it out also on mobile. And now when we scroll down, the header disappears. We scroll back up, the header comes back up. You scroll down, the header disappears. You scroll back up, the header comes back up. So without further delay, let's dive in and get started. This is our demo website where we're going to add our header effect on. Okay, as you can see now, there is no header on this website. We're going to create a header from scratch and add our effect. I'm going to walk you step by step. Okay, so now let's come over to our dashboard. In our dashboard, we're going to scroll down to where we have the template and we're going to click on the team builder and open it on a new tab. Now we're going to allow for this to load up. Okay, now we're going to come over to the header and click on this plus icon here to create a new header template. Okay, we won't be using this, so I'm just going to close this up. And then here, I'm going to come over here, click on this plus icon here and select the Flexbox container. Then I'm going to select this structure here. I'm going to come over to the content width and make sure it's set to full width. Okay. Then I'm going to come over here and set just five content to the center, line item to the center as well. Then I'm going to come over to the style option for the background type. I'm going to set it to classic. And for the background color, I'm going to set it to transparent by dragging this here. Okay. Then I'm going to come over here, click on this plus icon here and add another container within this. Okay, now for this container here, the first container, I'm going to call it our Q header, our P header. And then for the container we've added within it, we're just going to call it header. Okay, now for this header container here, I'm going to come over here. For the content width, I'm going to set it to full width. And then for the width, I'm going to set it to 90%. Okay, then I'm going to come over to the the item direction set it to row and then for the justify content i'm going to justify it to the center and align item to the center as well then i'm going to go over to the background now for the background type i'm going to set it to classic and for the background color i'm also going to set it to transparent as well by dragging it here but before we do that let's just leave it at something like this so we can see what we are working with okay now the next thing i'm going to do here is i'm going to go to the advanced settings and then for the padding, I'm going to give it a padding of 10 pixels to the top, 20 pixels to the right, 10 pixels to the bottom, and then 20 pixels to the left. Okay. Then I'm going to click on this plus icon here and come down here to where we have containers and drag the container and drop it here. I'm going to duplicate this container three times. Now for the first container, I'm going to call it logo. The second container, I'm going to call it menu. And for the third container, I'm going to call it button. Okay. Now for the logo container, I'm going to come over here and set the width to 20%. For the menu container, I'm going to set it to 60%. And then for the button container, I'm going to set it to 20%. Then I'm going to go to the logo and I'm going to come over here, click on this plus icon here and drag an image and drop it here. Okay, now for this image, we're going to make it clickable. So we're going to select custom URL, dynamic tag and set it to site URL. That is the home page of our website. Then I'm going to come over here to our media library and select this image logo here. Okay, great. So now that I've done that, the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to come over to this one here, this, and then I'm going to drag this when you work press menu here and drop it here. Okay. Now for this menu container here, I'm going to make sure I justify content to the center and align item to the center as well. Okay. Now for the menu, we're just going to head over to the style and do some minor editing so for the text i'm going to change the text color to white okay now for the font size i'm going to set it to 19 pixel okay so we now have something like this okay now 
I'm going to come over here to our button container. Now for the button container, we're going to come over here and drag a button and drop it there. Okay. Now I'm going to come over to the button container and then justify content to the center, line item to the center. Now for the button, I'm going to come over to the text and write download now. Okay. Then I'll go to the style option and tweak the button a little bit by just giving it the background color. So I'm going to select it, the icon color. So it looks similar to what we have here. Now this is what we now have here. So now the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to come over right here to this logo here and reduce the logo size. The max width of the logo, I'm just going to reduce it to something like 80%. And then I'm going to align it to the left. So we now have this, which looks beautiful. Okay. So now the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to try to make our header responsive on our devices. So we're going to come over to the tablet. Now for the tablet, you can see what we have here. Now what I'm going to do here is for the logo container, I'm going to set the width to width uniform pixel to percentage and give it a value of 55%. 55%. And then for the logo itself, I'm going to set the logo max width to 42%. Okay. Then I'm going to come over here to the menu container. For the menu container, I'm going to change the uniform pixel to percentage and then I'm going to give it a value of 15%. Okay. And then for the menu itself, I'm going to come over here under the style. I'm going to come over to the toggle button and then give it a background color of white. Okay. So we can see it. And then I'm going to come over here to the advanced settings for the margin to the top, to the bottom, I'm going to give it a negative five pixel so it aligns properly with the rest. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to come over to the menu container. Now for the menu container, I'm going to go to the advanced settings. Then I will come over to where we have the order and I'm going to give it a custom order, which is, I'll give it a value of three. So we now exchange places with the button. Now for the button widget, for the button container, sorry, I'm going to go to, I'm going to change the width to percentage and then give it a value of 25%. Okay. So we now have something that looks like this. You can see now our header looks great on tablet. The next thing we're going to look at is on the mobile. It doesn't look great on mobile and we're going to fix that. So to fix it now for the logo container, we're going to come over here for the width. We're going to set the width to 70%. And then for the button container, we're going to go to the advanced settings, come down here to where we have the responsive and then hide it on mobile. Now for the menu container, we're going to come over here for the layout. I'm just going to set the width to 20%. 20, 20%. All right. And then for the logo, I'm going to edit the logo and increase the mass width to 60%. Okay. So we now have this looking great on, tab, on mobile as well. Okay, so now the next thing we can do here, we're just going to come over here to the top, to the desktop. And then our header looks great on desktop, tablet, and mobile. Okay, so now we are done with this. The next thing we're going to do here is uh, we're going to come over to this P header, the parent header. And then we're going to go to the advanced settings. Now under the advanced settings, we're going to unlink this for the margin to the bottom. We're going to give it a value of minus 140 pixel. And then we're going to come over here to the Z index and give it a value of 10 or 100 as the case may be. It should be above every other content on the website. Okay. So now that we've done that, the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click on publish. And then I'm going to add condition and set it to entire website and click on the save changes. Okay. Now we're going to go over to our homepage where we do not have this. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to refresh this. Okay, great. So now you can see we now have our header here. Now I'm going to go back to our header design and come down to where we have the header. Head over to the style option and for the background color, we're going to set it completely transparent. Like I said, I was going to do initially. Okay, then I'm just going to click on the publish. And then we'll go, go back here to our home page and then refresh it. Great. Now we can see we now have a transparent header and then with no effect on it. So the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to make the header sticky. So we're going to come over here. Still on this header, we're going to go to the advanced settings, come down to where we have the motion effect. 
Now for the sticky, we're going to set it to sticky to the top. And then for the effect offset, we're going to set it to 100. Okay, then we're going to click on the publish. Then we're going to come back here to our website and refresh it. We now have a sticky header, as you can see. So now the next thing we're going to do here is I'm going to come over here and then stick on this header container here. I'm just going to come over to the advanced settings, come down to where we'll have the custom CSS. Mind you, this feature is only available on the Elementor Pro. So if you do not have the Elementor Pro, there is a link in the description of this video where you can get it. Okay, so now I'm just going to head over to my Atom Code Editor. We have already written out the code that we're using. I'm just going to come over here and then this is the code here. I'll just copy it out. And then we're going to go back here and I'm going to paste the code here. Okay, so you can see now we now have a background color. Now this is the background color. You can change this color code here to whatever color you want to fit whatever design you're working on. Okay, so now that we've done that, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on the publish. Then I'm going to go back to our website. Now when you refresh our website, you're going to see that the website is still transparent and we we'll scroll down. We now have this background color here. Okay, so now the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to add our effect whereby when you scroll down the back the header disappears and when you scroll back up the header shows up so to do so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our dashboard and then we're going to come over to where we'll have the elemental and then we'll come over to where we'll have the custom code i'm going to open this up now for the custom code we're going to create a new code now we're going to call this show and hide header on scroll then I'm going to come over here for the location. I'm going to set it to the body end. And then I'm going to come over, head over to my VS Code Editor. We have already written out the code. Not to worry about these codes that I've been using. It's going to be pinned on the comment section of this video for you to use for free. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this out here. And then I'm going to come back here and I'm going to paste it out. Then I'm going to click on the publish and make sure it's set to the entire site. I'm going to save our close. Okay, so now we're done publishing it. So what we're going to do here is just going to copy all the CSS ID here. And then we're going to go back to our header template. Now on this header here, we're going to come over to the layout. And then we're going to go down to where we have the uh, CSS ID. And we're going to add this there. Okay, then we're going to click on the publish. Now we're going to go to our home page and then we're going to refresh it. Now when we scroll down, we can see that our header has now disappeared. And when we scroll back up, it comes back up. When we scroll down, it has disappeared. And when we scroll back, it comes back up. Okay, so in order for us to see it clearly, I'm just going to copy our home page URL and open the website in incognito mode. And then I'm going to paste this and then load it up. Now we can see. This is it. This is our website. So now when we scroll down, the header disappears. And we'll scroll back up. It comes back. As you can see, when you scroll back down, it disappears. You scroll back up. It comes back. You scroll down. It disappears. You scroll back up. It comes back up. And mind you, this is responsive on all devices. And we're going to check that out on all devices. We're just going to come over here. Now we can see what it looks like on our MacBook laptop. And when we scroll, the header disappears. We scroll back up. It comes back up. We scroll down, it disappears. We scroll back up, it comes back up. Now we'll check it out on tablet. You can see our header on tablet. Now when we scroll down, it disappears. We scroll back up, we have this wonderful header. We scroll down, it disappears. We scroll back up, it comes back up. So now we'll check it out on mobile. You can see our header looking great. Now you scroll down, it disappears, you scroll back up, it comes back up. You scroll down, it disappears, you scroll back up, it comes back up. So that is pretty much it about this tutorial. I hope you've learned something new from this tutorial. If you've done so, please remember to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new in our channel, remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified first when I drop a new video. And feel free to drop your comment whenever you're confused or have any question. And I'll do well to attend to as much as I can. But for now, see you in our next video. Bye-bye.